My name is Brandon Bishop, and just like you, I love food. It has always been my dream to travel this nation and abroad, discovering the very best each city has to offer. And that's exactly what I do. So with the magical snap of my fingers, I'm going to go there, eat that. out. I was going to snap my fingers into beautiful Daytona, Florida. I bought a Hawaiian shirt. It's going to have my swim trunks on. I was going to emerge from the Atlantic Ocean like Bo Derrick in the movie 10. It would have been more like a 5.6, but you get the point. But instead, I snap my fingers over there and I walk over here and I realize I needed a jacket because it's freaking cold in Daytona, Florida. Yesterday it was in the 80s. Tomorrow it'll be in the 90s. Today it's freezing and windy. I don't even know if you can hear what I'm saying right now. But it's okay because I'm in a great mood because up there is Krabby Joe's. It's the epitome of seafood here in Daytona Beach and they're gonna put a lot of it in here. So screw the weather, let's go get stuffed. What's going on, man? It's cold outside. What I know. happened? I, I tell you, it's been a great winter. 85 degrees all winter, and uh, we got rebound today. And I, I think we dragged the weather in. We a brought bit. a little Colorado with us. Okay. I think so. I think so. But yeah, normally it's really, really warm. The bikinis on the beach, you know. That's why I brought my bikini. Uh, I, I have to keep it in the bag. It's still beautiful. It is. It's beautiful. It's I mean, it's a whole other kind of beautiful. The waves are crazy. The wind is crazy. But it, my hair's messed up. I bought a Hawaiian shirt and everything, like a or Daytona Beach shirt. I, I came equipped and I, I, was, I don't get clear. But tell me about Krabby Joe's because this place is on the ocean. It's over the ocean, yeah. A lot of people. But we've been out here, been here since 1960. Uh, made a restaurant, but we call it Krabby Joe's in 1992. We changed the name to it. Uh, when did you come across it? Uh, I've been here 24 years. I okay. started in 93. Um, you know, it's working out a little. It's been a long time. Uh, but it's a great place, it's well known, popular. Uh, I mean, it's over the ocean, not be, not be popular. If the food is anywhere near as good as the scenery, which it, I heard it is, it has to be uh, the most popular spot in town. And it really is, too, because when I do my little research to places to go, I'm like Daytona Beach, Grabby Joe's. Everybody says I mean, you have to go. It's really hard here. to get that reputation, and I, and I think you'll really like our food. I'm excited. I'm wait, 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 I heard about. A That's challenge of sorts. Yeah, now this is not a competitive food eating show. I keep telling people that, but people keep saying you should try this place. They got like a nine thousand pound potato. No, I don't want a nine thousand pound potato. But what is this? Well, we have a surf and turf burger. It's a surf and turf because it has bur burger patties on it. Has uh, fried fish on it. But it's a burger about this tall. Uh, it's you know, like about this tall. <laughs> yeah, about this tall. Uh, it, it, you can eat it all. You know, it's fried stuff. We give you a free T-shirt. Um, Oh, there's a t-shirt on the line. Oh, yeah. I collect t-shirts yeah, yeah, yeah. from these different places. I love t-shirts. But, uh, yeah, I'm up for that challenge. Absolutely. We're going to bring it out to you. Awesome. Yeah. Can't wait. So, Billy, it's a, it's a little warmer back here. Oh, yeah. It's I, always warmer back yeah, here. I get to show off my new shirt. I like that it. I got at the thrift shop. Three dollars. Yeah. So tell me about uh, Grabby Joe's. You guys have 15 people back there. Uh, there is, and uh, it's a tight, uh, tight area. Yeah, a little corner to film it. This is fantastic. <laughs> it smells really good. It smells awfully fishy. I had no idea you did see. We uh, okay. Grabby Joe's. <laughs> it's in the name. First of all, how long have you been here? What are some of the things that you've come up with? What are your favorite things on the menu? Uh, one of my, I've been here four years, but one of my favorite things on the menu is the Royal Red Shrimp, Argentina and Royal Red. And that's the big shrimp. They're, they are, we use U15. What are these guys right here? Oh, these, these are them. Are them right here. Oh, look at that. 
Now it's well documented that I'm not a huge shrimp fan, but if it's done right, I like it. Uh, these shrimp are sweet, uh, they're tasty, they almost taste a little bit like lobster tail. Okay. So if you don't like shrimp and you like lobster, it's... Uh, I don't know, I don't think I've ever had <laughs> I'm from Detroit, we don't do seafood. You know what seafood is for people in Detroit? It's uh, like a box of Bandy Camp fish sticks and you're like... whole catfish fried. <laughs> so, I think I can Detroit, I've seen fish. <laughs> Crab legs, of course, we're crab gels, so we're going to bring you out some crab legs. I've never had crab legs in my life. Crab you look shocked when I said that. Like, what? Oh, no, I mean it. I've never had crab legs. I've never had that giant crustacean in my hand. I don't even know what to do when I get it in my hand. today, and I'll help you. I, I've been with other people while they did it, and I just kind of put my finger in the butter sauce here. Well, that's the best part. Have someone else peel it for you, and you eat it. That's the best so way. You got it back on there. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm excited, man. I can't wait. It's going to be good. Awesome. in the kitchen and what is happening to my life right now there's a burger back there with fish on it and it's like this freaking big I'm not lying it's like this freaking big but that's not it they have like all these different plates and stuff they're bringing out for us I mean we like to showcase the menus of course that's why we're here because we want you to be here speaking of here look at that you can see the ocean flowing beneath us it's freaking crazy we're like literally walking on a couple inches of wood and if you go down and pass those couple inches of wood, then you get wet! Oh my gosh, there's so many sea creatures on this table. <laughs> and hush puppies. Nice. Tacos. Tacos. And the crab Can't go legs. wrong with the Oh, there's, look, oh wow. You just literally just took all their feet off. Sure did. Is there anything else you can bring? I mean, because uh, gotcha. this is maybe not enough food. I'll bring some more. Really? Oh, they haven't brought out the burger yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. This terrifies me. But I see so many people eat these that I have to see what the big fuss is about. I'm excited, nervous, but excited. Look, they got little claws. Ah. <laughs> So just when I think it can't get any more. Surf and turf challenge. The surf and turf challenge. What kind of sorcery is this? You finish this, you get a free Crab and Joe's t-shirt. If I finish this, I get a free nap for the next three days. This is insanity. How does one eat this? Like, just... Uh, piece by piece. Piece by piece. It has bacon on it, so you know it's good. Oh, fried onions? Fried onions. Wow, that's a good start. Oh my gosh. So Luke, did you have to stab this thing because you had to put it out of its misery because it's a beast? Pretty much. Or this is just holding the thing together, yeah, right? Got two animals in there. You gotta get some fish together. We got three in there. We got bacon. And bacon. There's a pig in there too. Right. Oh my gosh! Look at this. I love fried. It's, it's, it's a big challenge. It's a big challenge. But, uh, but you can do it. Oh my god. Good. Fish alone. Yeah. It's really, really good, man. Okay. Yeah. That is. It's still crispy too. It's under this montage. Right. There's pickle juice and sauces and. And beef juice and still crispy. Mm. It's probably about a four pound burger, I'd say. Mm. <laughs> Where's that sauce? Chipotle sauce. Oh man. You get all the vegetables, so it's fresh. 
that sauce takes over your mouth. That is so good. Every consistency you can imagine is in there. Those fried onions are amazing. That's not just a gimmicky challenge. That's a damn good burger. Oh, congrats on that. Thank you. I love tacos. I love all tacos. You can put anything in a taco shell and I'll pretty much eat it. So explain these to me right here. These are gorgeous. This one here is a uh, mahi taco. It has a uh, pico de gallo uh, slaw in it. Nice. You got the uh, chipotle mayo on top. This, this is made with a uh, on each, each taco. Is that the same the chipotle mayo on the burger? It is. It that is. is so good. You bottle that stuff? You should. You should, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, bottle that and send me a bottle in Colorado Eric, every no week. Problem. No problem. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm gonna open up a napkin factory next door. There you go. There'll be napkins on the pier next door. It's gonna. This is not a, a clean plate. Clean. You, you no, make a mess here. You're gonna get your hands dirty. That's right. Oh, that's the best kinds of meals though. Yeah. But then you're on the beach. That's the kind of food that you eat on the beach. That is fantastic. That is. I mean, that is amazingly fantastic. And this, this is one of our best sellers at uh, Crabby Joe's. So. Mm. Oh my well. god. For good reason. All right. So we're back with Billy, and he told me he had half my back. On these crabs. These are crabs. What kind of crabs are these? Besides crab. dead. Snow Alaska, crabs. Last and snow crab. And it could snow in Daytona today, possibly. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. I honestly you know, I, I they feel come silly. With these, these scientific tools. Okay. So but, oh look at that. Like the best thing. I've seen these before. The I think they do is, other things. Things okay. you're born with. <laughs> oh things I'm born with. Uh, yeah. No common sense as far as crab goes. No. Okay, Take so we it, twist it. And then this little part is no good, so you break that off. Okay. And then just sorry, just grab. But yep, you got it. And then oh, just, what happened there? Did I break it? Nope. That's oh, okay. the his inside skeleton. Gotcha. And then just snap it in half. And there you got the delightful piece. Snap you it. Oh, you do that so oh okay. Okay. And, and then there's stuff. Yep. This is what we eat. That's what you eat. And that's the butter sauce that you dip that's this stuff butter. in. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. Uh, we got a I host a food here. show and uh, it, travel the world and I don't know how to eat a damn crab. It's ooh, that's good. what's in this butter sauce? Well it's because it's cold out here. Oh, it's, it's, it's starting <laughs> it's good it's feeling. It's starting. <laughs> it's not being liquid. Oh wait man. You got more in there. So you can use that little fork thing if you want to do it. Oh there's a fork thing. Fork thing. This is an educational show at this point. I'm excited to learn this stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not expect this to be this good. Oh, this you know, is fantastic. I tell you, I just did these two pieces, and they'll taste better because I did all the work. Oh, you're doing this for me. Oh yeah. Look at that! Look how good he did that. See, it always tastes better when someone else breaks breaks it open for you. you know, I am, when, you're, when you're fighting and wrestling with it. I'm a mess over here, and you're just like, look at this pristine little piece of crab right here. I, mean, I always saw people, to include relatives of mine, that would have these giant tables full of crab and legs and pieces and everything and I'd always sit at the end of the table like this like I didn't even want to look at it but now I can't stop eating it who would have thunk it seriously so I'm embarrassed to tell you I've never gone fishing in my entire life I can't believe that stop. I can't believe that either I'm from Detroit the Great Lakes State and I've never gone fishing so this is exciting me. Now is that what's left of your pier over there? That's about 100 foot out, which, so it's probably another 80 feet past that. Check that out. Also, so, uh, got some divers. It is my biggest fear in life that I'll hook the camera person or hook you or somebody. I don't know what to do with it. It's so. been done before. I, <laughs> my people were probably a lot more experienced than me. So am I holding this right? You are, yeah. Okay, and then you... You would normally unhook this here and flip, okay. flip over your bail. And you hold your finger, kind of like, I'll show you, hold your finger like that, the over the bail, and you just cast it. What did I do? Like that. Oh! oh we, didn't okay. we didn't unhook it for you. I thought I broke everything, and you said that was right. Yeah, just went, just went down on you. So. Oh, I got you. Okay. We'll, we'll uh, go ahead and let go of the line there, and I'll hold it for you, and we'll reel it back up again. <laughs> I promise you! I'm not lying when I say I've never gone fishing. That's pretty funny. Well, I tell you what, I think I'm going to leave this up to the professionals. But thank you so much for the tour. And people can come here, they can rent a pole from you, right? Absolutely. Just go fishing right here in the Atlantic Ocean. How awesome is that? Probably uh, on a warmer day. <laughs> a much warmer day. But the fish are, the fish are still warm that's down right, there, right? That's right. That's right.
Well, thank you, Luke. Thank you, Krabby Joe's. It's been amazing. And uh, why don't you end off this segment with that uh, incredible view that way? Look at that. Gorgeous. So now we didn't get to do the beach stuff. We didn't get to go swim in the Atlantic. We didn't go diving for lobsters. We didn't get the sand between our toes. But what we did do is get one of the best meals I've ever had. I eat crab. I ate crab. I didn't even thought I would like crab. I didn't like it at all, actually. I loved it. I ate a bunch of shrimp. I ate a bunch of different stuff. I ate a burger this big, maybe that much of it. But Krabby Joe's is one fantastic place. If you're anywhere near this place, you gotta come and try this place out. But we're not done yet. We're going all over Florida on this episode. And we're about two hours north of here. It's a city called Jacksonville and a place with my name written all over it. And just like that, we're up the coast of Florida in a city called Jacksonville. And Jacksonville is warm. Much warmer than Daytona Beach was. God, this is an ugly shirt. Anyways, I told you I was going to go to a place that has my name written all over it. I'm here at BB's in Jacksonville, BB's Restaurant and Bar. The food here is so fantastic that everybody I know in this city, which is actually a few people, said you gotta come to BB. So, this BB is going to that BB, and I hope you come with me. I, I'm, I'm gonna change my shirts. Initials at least. BB's, Brandon, Bishop, BB's. I wonder if they were influenced by me to make this place. They said, you know what? If we build it, he will come. Here I am. There is so much awesomeness on this menu that it's gonna be one of those things where I'm gonna have to be like, and she's gonna be like, and I'll be like, and recommendations are badly. And I think I broke their menu. <laughs> I'm making a very good first impression here right now. I don't know how to do this. It's the fanciest menu holder ever. Hello, welcome Hi. to Babies. I may or may have not broken your menu. It's okay, it happens all the time. Do you want to learn? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. He doesn't have it yet, but close. I'll tell you what, um, we'll fix the menu like at some point. In a little bit, at apps after we look at it, absolutely. But in this menu, there's so much deliciousness, and I don't know where to begin. Well, we'll start with the cheese plate. It's always a really good nibbler. Um, we've got a few selections. The manchego oh, is my manchego favorite. Manchego is my favorite. No Your way. favorite? No, it's my favorite. You and me. That is you came awesome. to the right spot. And we're going to say that through everything that we take care of. <laughs> That's my favorite, too. Okay, what are we doing for like, uh, what, what are some of your favorites? Here? My my true favorite whole menu, absolutely, is the duck wonton Napoleon. Duck wonton Napoleon. Does Every, that mean the ducks were short? Everyone. And they, <laughs> and they conquered France. What, what's the. Middle, I failed history. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, see, Thanks. Napoleon was this guy who was short in stature, apparently, and he led the French army to. It, okay, to, food, food. Okay. Great. Yeah, somewhere. Okay, so it's, um, it's a duck confit, which is confit. My, my, what I call a pulled pork style duck. Really? Um, it's really, really good, really and tender and juicy. They actually layer it. So it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a crispy wonton that we house fry here, um, layered with the boars and cheese, sliced fresh green apples, caramelized onions, the duck confit, balsamic soy drizzle on top. Can I record you saying this so I can listen to it when I'm at, <laughs> like going to sleep at night? Like, it's a little, maybe. Are you going to... Go to is the pork trio. You get a lot of food. It's pork gonna be a trio. Trio. Three, three pigs. Three. Three so I'll huff and I'll puff and then I'll eat it and then I'll huff and I'll puff some more. Like I can't believe I ate all that. <laughs> yes, exactly. Pig. And save room for dessert. Yeah. That's it. Oh yeah, you have a whole cake thing over there. Yeah. So how do we get to the we cakes? Do. We have they're, to get through this. Exclusive. And exclusive Private for me. Cakes for my name. Us. My initials are on the door. <laughs> So they're, they're BB's cakes, and yeah. they're my cakes, okay. Do I, do I tell the, the cake cutter that? I need like a room of a hundred of her. She's laughing at all my jokes. <laughs> Nobody laughs at my jokes ever. I'm, I love Jacksonville. Um, I, oh, um, what is a fried green tomato BLT? 
Um, awesome. It's our southern. It's our southern dish. <laughs> you should stop it. Awesome. It's good. It's pimento cheese. We house make here. Really, um, you house make pimento cheese? Yeah, which I don't. I don't do that part, so oh, I'm not okay. quite sure. But you've heard the, it's the been details. done. It's, it's here. Um, the bacon marmalade drizzle on top is like a sweet, chopped up, tangy, sweet bacon sauce. Um, thick, chopped up, real bacon pieces in it. So that is the set off. You of the are dish. so good at your job. You are making my mouth water right now. Rim of tomatoes on the side for a little fresh. She's not done. Well, you, I haven't even said the crispy fries. Don't cut me off. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm sorry sorry about this. It's okay. This place is absolutely my namesake because this is what I do. This is how I start off every meal. Moscato and a little Manchego. I love Manchego cheese. It's fantastic. Look at this. It looks so pretty. I just messed it up. Anyway. Yes. Oh, jeez. This is the fried green tomato BLT. Is this really bacon? Like that a... is the bacon marmalade. Oh. <laughs> this is one of those little segments that you'll see on the intro for next season. <laughs> it's like, wow, look how gorgeous that looks. Hey, this is easy. You can just slide it. I was going to say, I'm really ah. glad that it didn't fall. Crispy fried duck wonton. Oh, it's, so, it's like a mountain of just duck and crisp and yay. Oh, they put the little designer squirties on there. I always like it when so they do that. those are actually roasted pepper sauces, and they oh. are a wonderful addition. They're pretty, but they're also really delicious. Wow. Good, right? They really are. A lot of places, they just go, I want to put some ketchup on there. There's like a smear of mustard or something. No, that's awesome. This is your pork trio with the charcoal pork tenderloin on top of the tasso ham collard greens. Look at that cute little egg. Bread. Is that a quail egg? It is the quail egg. Yeah, it's so the pork cute. Belly. It's wonderful. Oh, and it looks like somebody knows how to make greens. Oh, I love collard greens. Hey, Jonas. Yep. How you doing, man? Good Thank you so much for the invite. You know, there's a lot of time that goes between like the delivery of the food that they don't see, and then we, you know, we gotta wait for the owner to come by or the general manager in your case, and. Um, it's usually okay because you know we got a little stuff to do. We got work on the lighting. We got work on this, and then um, this is my torture because of this and everything else on the tray. But these are fried green tomatoes. Green tomatoes on a bed of pimento cheese and and juicy bacon. So um, that's a uh, a bacon that been caramelized. So you have a, a little tangy on that one. It really complements the uh, the tomato, which is a little bit more acidic on that okay. end. And that cheese will just, you know, bring up, bring the flavor to the notch. So you gotta get a little bit of everything on here, right? A bit of everything. That's how they do it. Yeah. But sometimes I do this, and I'm gonna do it now because I want to take a bite of this, and I want you to tell me what I'm going through at the moment, okay? Okay. Yeah. So I want you to tell me every sensation that I'm going through. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Say this. I can concentrate this way. Mm. <laughs> So uh, yeah, so assuming that you got the, to the tomato, of course, you know, mm -hmm. and tomato normally is uh, it's pretty bland if you just like have mm. the tomato by itself, but the deep fry giving a little grease, you know, um, and then with the bacon, you know, the cheese is very rich, bacon kind of, you know, give it a little touch to it, so now all, the, all these components, all these flavors, all coming all at once. There's a word, umami, that is really, it's a hard to define word, and you rarely ever actually get it. That is it. The bacon and the sweet and the crunch and the sauce and the sour and the oh my god, man! Now this is called duck wonton. I'm not uh, duck Napoleon. 
um, one ton chips, uh, it dug that being cooked for eight hours overnight. Really? Uh, like a slow cooker? Yeah, slow cooker in the oven, in the oven, of course. Um, We're slowly turning while you talk. Yeah. Boars and cheese, <laughs> cucumber relish, oh. and a uh, sweet balsamic reduction. And I tasted these little, those are amazing, these little sauces. Yep. You could literally just pour that in my mouth and yeah. I'm a happy guy. Oh, Teach me how to eat this thing. That's the only well, thing I'm confused about. Well, uh, normally you take a knife, you go, you go right in the middle. Okay. A knife, uh, anything at all, just cut it right in the middle. Yep. Cut it, okay. Cut it right in the middle. And then, you know, Jeez. I think uh, most of the time, you know, this, our restaurant is not beautiful. We're not like super fine dining, but we want to be, you know, make sure everybody's comfortable. Um, so the way we eat it is the way how you want to eat it. There we go. I got a nice chunk of this. Yeah. This is perfect. And this is not for the faint of heart. This is a rich, rich appetizer. Y'all can tell being cooked by what I said, eight hours. Uh, Monte with butter. And then uh, the boars and cheese, of course. That is very buttery. Yeah. And that cheese is not overpowering. Oh, there's a lot of it on it. Yeah. And it's just the perfect little accent. What kind of cheese is that? Horse. I mean, what, what, what kind of an what, what animal does it originally come from? It almost tastes like a ghost cheese, but it's no, not. No, 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 it's not, it's not goat. It's, um, it's cow. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. So like 98 percent sure. Um, it's it's, 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 it's tangy. That is so good. Tell me about this pork loin. Pork loin, well, um, we try to um, source it as local as possible when it comes to protein like oh, that. Wow. Same thing with, um, well, same thing with all our uh, meat, mm. all our protein. So um, this pork is uh, as local as it can be. Uh, I think it's from uh, not too far away from That seasoning on there, that just takes over your mouth. That storms in, plants a flag on your tongue, and takes over. That is amazing, and I'm excited about this. I love greens. I'm very judgmental about my greens. <laughs> he, he has nothing but confidence over here. I love it. Mm. So we have that. Um, that is fantastic. A little sweet, so um, the greens, you know, a little brown sugar. So brown sugar goes into that um, greens. And then you will see the, the hidden agenda, the pork trio, which is new sweet bacon. That tenderloin is amazing. The belly is fantastic. But these greens, I have to admit, the side dish is stealing the show. That is fantastic. That is awesome. So I would like to say um, the food's amazing. And I really appreciate you uh, opening the restaurant in my honor, BB's. Yep. I mean, you named it after me, right? It's hey, if you want to think that way, you can think it that way. You know? <laughs> That's, you, you're going to believe that if you want to, Brandon. So, I'll tell you what, out of all the recommendations that I got, and there was a few, I said, I'm coming to Jacksonville, what should I do? And then everyone's like, da -da 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 -da. most of them said come to BB's, all of them said try desserts. So I'm super excited about that. And I'm full. It's been a long day of eating, but thank you so much. Not a problem. Back. She's back. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so pretty. Did you do this? I did not. I can't take credit for this. You can tell everybody you did it. I, everybody would believe I it. I cooked it, made it, waited for the food. Oh, you, oh, you did warm it up and put ice cream on it. Look at this. And she left me. Oh, because I have no forks. What a torturous thing to do to a man. Put this in front of you without any forks. And now she's back. Oh my gosh, why is there more than one fork? You don't need it. Croissant, bread pudding, it's for me. Hi, croissant, bread pudding. Oh, have a seat, please. Vanilla bean ice cream on top, with cherries, currants, and raisins on top. It's bread pudding made out of croissant, obviously. Yes. Oh my gosh. You want to buy it? The moment. I do, you know, but I can't. Yeah, why not? Because I'll get drenched. By who? I don't know. By me? I totally will. Do it. Look around. Nobody saw anything. She's out of here. I'm sharing her fork. Oh my gosh. It's so steamy and gooey and wonderful. I don't want to mess up the drizzle, but eh. Holy crap. I am going to sit on the floor and cry after this. That is beautiful. It's the only word that came to mind. I'm spitting now. Beautiful. This right here 
this could quite possibly change my life. Oh my god, this right here could stop war. Give every soldier in the world a slice of a pineapple upside down cheesecake, no more war. What's the fight about? Everyone's happy. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. It's too thick for my fork. Oh, but it's fluffy too. I need to sit somewhere with like a reflective pool. Think about my childhood for a while. That just changed everything. That is unbelievable. Okay, babies. You know what? You got my initials, but I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. This is fantastic. Everything they've put in front of us has been fantastic. If you're in Jacksonville, you should live here. And as the sun sets here in Jacksonville, I have reached my maximum capacity. I'd like to thank Krabby Joes and Luke and Billy over there. I'd like to thank everybody here at BB's, Jonas and Cassie. You're all amazing. Florida, you've been amazing. Thanks for the trip. Maybe next time we come, we can actually get on the beach. You can catch me in a nice little bikini with my rippling abs. It's all a lie. I don't have rippling abs. You know what I have? Pineapple cheesecake in there right now. That's what I have. So next time you see something you really want to put in here, maybe you saw it on my show, maybe you saw it somewhere else, maybe someone's like, your grandma's like, hey, you should really try that place in Jacksonville. Don't just wish you could do it. Go there. Eat that. I did. <laughs>